Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis. So, big news on Wednesday. We won our first battlefield of 2024. Super low scoring, super boring. I apologize to our opponent. Uh, we had a lot of members missing, gave us a smaller matchup against someone we've never faced before. Was good, but the point of this video is we couldn't have done this without advice from our conqueror. It was, uh, you know, a tough SVS. You know, we got conquered, but luckily, you know, the guy was encouraging us all weekend, telling us, you know, like, don't let two people ruin your server. I'm not sure who exactly he was talking about. I think he's talking about maybe like this guy over here, uh, Gaza. I think like he was maybe like really talking to the guy a lot on the other server and telling him like, you know, how nasty our server is and how he doesn't like anybody. I don't know. I don't know who he was talking about. But I just kept getting messages in uh, in our WhatsApp group, in our line group, telling me like, hey, you know, you should read uh, SVS chat, a lot of funny stuff there. I think they really don't like Gaza and uh, they might come for our throne. So I really took, uh, I'll show you the email in a bit that the guy sent to us because he was saying lots of stuff all weekend. So, you know, looks really bad, but give us half of those points. And it was actually like a tie. I think we were actually winning. And then obviously they took our throne. They did the classic, uh, you know, go and take their throne with 20 people in full force and then come and take ours, you know, obviously at like 2 or 3 a.m. But uh, that's what you do when you're a very good server and, you know, your life is Ebony. Anyways, uh, I'll show you some of the reports. So I've been working my best on my defense. And you can see it's been paying off. But I think from the king's, the conqueror's perspective, this should be... It should be zero lost power. I don't think I'm allowed to give up 31,000 like that. But he tested me too. And, you know, it did really well. You know, he, I, you know, I, I got to get that down more. I don't know. But, uh, you know, maybe he could spend less on his ideal land and a little bit more on his attacks. But anyways, let's get to the uh, Conqueror's email. I've seen worse, to be honest. But uh, it's still always fun to receive these. So, King Debonis, thought I might share some of our experiences on server 576, which might be helpful to you all. We were once a bubble or burn server, always fighting over the throne, and smaller players lived in fear of two big players who dominated the server. Then, with some wisdom, two of our leading players, who are still with us, proposed we move to a system of nap and only observe KE during the Ebony KE event. They also set up a system to rotate the throne among different alliances to allow players with Wonder already open to unlock Wonder 2. This allowed for the growth of our server. Very unique idea. I think we do something like that on our server. Um, we do have a nap between the top two alliances. It's been offered to other alliances but they've turned it down they don't want it but even with that we have even given throne and allowed other alliances to have throne because they play svs and help and we have no issues with anybody on server anymore we're a totally peaceful server but back to the email as a result our server went into full nap at the conclusion of svs and only did ke on the non-svs weekend this allowed our smaller players to grow and participate in events such as barbarian castles, which are impossible for them to do in a bubble or burn environment. It improved relations between our alliances and led to much better coordination and cooperation during SVS. We also have three players with over 6,000 points in ideal land. Oh wait, he didn't mention that part. We've since taken the next step and abolished KE entirely on our server. So we fight as a united server during SVS. They also only have one server on Alliance. So that might be a reason for ending KE. I'm not suggesting you take that step right away, but I strongly urge the leadership of this server to consider setting up a system of NAP and only do KE on the non-SVS weekend. I believe this will be beneficial for your server and make the experience better for the vast majority of players on your server. I also suggest sharing the throne amongst your different alliances 
to allow growth of players across the different alliances. This could be done by a rotation system or even a vote. We've done both and landed on a system of rotation. Thank you for your consideration. This was great. So honestly, we received this, I think it was Wednesday morning. And, you know, we shared it around all of our chat groups and we took it serious. We were like, how, how can we improve, guys? And we just tried really hard, you know, and we won at Battlefield. We're like, and we should send him the result and thank him. But uh, just for point of reference, there's not a single player on our server who has Wonder 1 and is awaiting Wonder 2. So not sure where his information came from. Uh, you know, he's kind of about four or five months old. Our Civil War is long over. Not sure uh, where this uh, information comes from or what his motivation was for this. But I will say, like, maybe this could be used as a rallying cry for the players. Maybe we could get behind this and maybe Debonis could be like the players union representative and he could be who talks to Ebony. Like, developer calls should just be this one guy. He obviously knows how the game works. He should have a keep on every single server in all of Ebony and possibly a trophy or a statue of himself on the Arch of Triumph. But us, for sure, we deserve a statue of him on our Arch of Triumph. I'm going to write customer service and ask for one because not only did he conquer us, so he's great, but also he gave us advice and has changed our lives, our server, right? So we're all very happy now. We're all in a better place for having met him. And I hope that the next server that faces him will... Uh, be as enlightened as we were but there's also servers out there that are in civil war that could use advice like this i know us were post civil war but uh still it still helped us maybe like we were just in that funk thinking you know like oh you know we're not a good server we're not a good alliance but seeing that email and knowing that we could actually achieve something better and that there is hope for us it really just did help us but anyways, looking forward to our next battlefields. We are going forward with smaller lineups. Obviously, that doesn't work in SVS, so we're kind of screwed there. But uh, battlefield-wise, it's been uh, a couple in a row now where we've got pretty good matchups. And just by shrinking our lineup, basically our power, because we're way too big for the amount of money that's been spent on our server. Our power is too high. So, And also, I think that people who've spent a lot in our bigger, better alliances, maybe they've just kind of moved up and left us in the dust. So, anyways, let me know in the comments if you guys have ever received uh, advice from an enemy and it's really turned your alliance around. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.